all right we're gonna start uh just a little shape up and this is the cut i'm gonna make uh it's just the sides it's kind of a more hook uh, so we're gonna start this with maybe a number one of the sides I try to not make uh, any cut on the on the long hair so first uh, we gotta wet the hair we're gonna put some clips over here on the top so we're gonna just put these in the top I think it's gonna be around like a number one, and we gotta wet the hair a little bit so the hair can stay in the place where we're gonna cut. And then this is the number one guard. Uh, it's gonna be all on the sides so we're gonna start You see, there's like um, just making up the cut, it's like uh, one all around, just in the sides. Later, we're gonna hit the little hairs that are missing, just the you're just making so between the top, the, the bottom. The top will be just open a little regard and and then this is all all closed. So if you make it already, you already make the cut. Just try to cut like the hairs that are missing, any hair that is like flying away. And you're gonna use a little one of these brushes and try to clean it up. Then pass again. then try to open it a little bit so you cannot cut any other hair on the top or make the shape uh, really clean he doesn't do any any other kind of hairstyles just like the normal uh, one of the sides and the sides pointy in the back is like a B, B shape so we're working on it just in one side later we're gonna pass in the other side so now we're gonna hit the take out the clips move it make the other side We're just gonna come the hair to the other side and do the same thing.
and now you're gonna make a try to put another clip over here so you can make the the back bottom like on the on this this part and then try to make like all the other side it's the same with the same guard same same size and do the same thing so you may see this is like the part that's right I'm gonna make it with one guard and do the same thing just gonna clean over here one in the sides try to not cut in the top because the hair is longer so you cannot get like hair sticking out in the or any other issues it's just the his normal long hair that he has in the top and in the sides There are some hairs that are just gonna go against the grain or with the grain, and they do the same thing. And as I said, uh, you can use one of these brushes that is gonna clean a little bit and then cut. It. See, there's some hairs that are coming out because I put the brush on it and came down, so it's fine. So try to not make any cut in the top. So as we do the same thing, just gonna cut in the sides. Try to open it, and then make a little blend over there. Cut close it, and just with the with one corner, just hit the blade the hair. And then you will see that all the hair are, is gone. As you're gonna see over here, I still have the hair. So open it a little bit and then cut the, try to not cut in the top. So just like uh, some shape. Like I said, with the corner maybe, or so what you see what you're doing and the blade is coming I have done this haircut it's like the third time third fourth time but it's got the official video so as you see over here so we're gonna cut this chop this down try to not touch the top so that's why I put my hand on the hair so the hair that is in the top so you're not touching it or doing anything so cut it then brush down a little bit and then go with grain Try to make any other ways to cut, just like in the in the top. Just open a little bit the blade and cut a little bit with the corner, or just close and do the same thing. But try to not go a little bit higher. So just stay in a little bit down. It's not touching the top. So as you see, it's the same size. So the thing you're making now is try to make a uh, let's check out like the shape you're gonna use like I said it's gonna be a pointy pointy side and in the in the back it's gonna be a B shape almost so it can be as good as the hair comes down or the hairstyle he got already so as you may see it's already the cut it's already cut so after I do this so we're just gonna use the half guard 
and then put it on on the clipper open it up all the way down to one, one open and then try to hit the hairs that are missing just try to do it softly so the client doesn't get hurt or any issues even though he has earrings so we gotta turn the, the ear down and anything so just like a normal haircut and then as so I said don't go too up, too high so the, you cannot cut any hair that is up in the top so the, the shape is not gonna get messed up in the top As you see this is the shape this is coming up in the back you got already a B shape almost it's like a B square but you gotta hit it goodly with the guard this is one half half a guard the half guard is 1.5 mm millimeters but even though you open it it's gonna be one guard it's almost the same thing as one guard but with the blade closed so this is gonna be open so as you have done this uh, try to do the same thing on both sides so if there is any hair missing so just take up the clips and come the hair to the other side and then do the same thing and then put a little just some clips so it can, the hair will not come down and then put the client right back in the best in place just coming like this so we're gonna do the same thing with the half a guard and we're gonna hit it with some clips so the hair will not come down for any you know have issues uh, by cutting the hair so you're gonna hit this with the hover guard the so we're just gonna hit it try to not go higher just like this so this is the cut I'm making so there's any hair missing so this this guard is gonna cut it because this is a big difference because this is too small and the first, the one guard is a little bit bigger because you close it close the you close it and then it's already it's big so if you open it this is the 1.5 millimeters so this is gonna use the same thing the corners and then so everything is gonna be the same all right so after you do this try to brush down the hairs that get missing or there is like you may see what you do if there is any hair missing you're just gonna hit it with the with the guards try to not close it or do anything when you have this half guard and you're making a cut with one guard with this one number one guard on the on the client so you just go against the grain with the corners or however you want but try to not cut it more shorter than it's supposed to be Alright, so now we have this all over around. So if there is any hair missing, just put right back again the the have the one guard and try to cut the hairs that get missing on the top. Try to not go higher and cut the the hair that is coming up. So coming out. So the hair don't come out and cut the clients long hair that he already has his, his shape so you just try to hit the, with the corners and the, and the other side like it's doing the work 
on this on the middle so after we make this you're gonna make a it's already done so you may check that there's anything here missing there's nothing here missing so you're just gonna hit it uh, so any hairs so after you do this you just take out the clips just try to make sure that both sides are have the same 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 size same length on the top we're just not gonna make anything any cut it's gonna be the same length on the top and this is the result like we're just gonna make the shape up and everything so it's gonna do this so try to put out some clips on the on the sides a little bit so the, the hair will not come down right back again by you making while you making the shape up so you just clean the client on the sides and then you try to make uh, the cut like the shape up and everything on the client so this is gonna be the pointy and in the back is gonna be like a B shape or even though we're gonna make a the, the, the way the best way we, we can right now so we're just gonna make it all right so we're just gonna make there's new thing we gotta do so it's gonna be round in the in the bag in pointy in the sides and then do the same thing on on both sides and in the back so we're just gonna use the T liner the trimmer the little trimmer that we have Many of y'all have the uh, bubble list, the little T-liner, uh, the wall T-liner, many other, uh, other type, but I have this one. It's the best one I have right now. We're just gonna make it. I'm trying to make a, the pointy. So try to draw like a, a line. So you're just gonna draw a line, like uh, like if you're drawing like a like a round, like a round side, and then you make do the pointy, the pointy shape first. After you do this, you're just gonna clean up the hairs that are coming out. That get missed missing that you got to cut off and then that's the result we have so try to make it the best pointy shape as possible Alright, that's the result we have. Pointy. Sometimes I use the blade to make it look fresh and and good, crispy, like you guys said, some of y'all. So I just make it with the tail liner. So later we're gonna use a little bit the blade or the box shaver. Or well, even though I use the blade, no moly. So after you do this, you make the, the shape on the ears, put the ear down, make the really nice round shape, and the back is going to be round too, so we're just going to hit the, with the corners and try to make a round shape. Try to make it clean. So first I do one side and then I do the other side. So it's gonna be a little bit more easy to make by just watching what you doing. After that you make this. So you may see there is a big difference 
on the shape of you make with the T-liner with this one and then after you do it with the razor blade or you use any other kind of machine like the box shaver so we're just gonna stop there see if there's any hair missing like I said chop it down make the best cut I should making this is one of my clients that I usually do this is the like the third the third or fourth time I have done this with him so it's gonna be looking like this in one side so it's gonna make like try to look at the mirror and do the same thing on the other side so now we have this this is the shape so now you may see look at turn it on the other side and try to make the same thing as you see in the other side of the mirror so you just take up remove the clips that you put on the client's head and then come the hair to the other side and try to do the same the best the same thing you can on this side same thing you don't really have any other issues to make the look the same thing in this in both sides so you just put some clips around the client so the hair will not come down and make it feel comfortable while you make the cut if you have struggles so now this is nothing on the any not non shape up doesn't have the shape up so we're just gonna make it the same thing it's gonna use the T liner and the, a little bit the the brush try to draw the line as you may see I, I make a little line it's just like coming up but try to make it that looks the same like the other side some some of them just look at the mirror and the other side in the front or they just see on, on how is the hair coming out or depends on the ear si side so I just make it really almost to the ear when it starts almost over here I just stopped right there and then clean it up with the corner try to not hit the already the line you make on the client and then clean it up so it's already the shape up like this so we're just gonna make a little bit more crispy by hitting the hairs that get missing um, it's coming like this and then we later we're gonna use another another thing so we'll make the the line will look more more nice more crispy like y'all said so I forgot about uh, to say that so I just making the round shape on the back to look the same. So So many of y'all we're talking about the round the round is already like round but just a little bit of oh, just need a little bit touch-ups can you hear missing in both sides so we're just gonna hit the with the with the clipper right back again like this is a little bit more struggling 
because there is some hairs that get missing so we're just gonna do the same thing as you we make half a guard with the lever open and then hit it cut it off so it make crispy and then we're just gonna make this close it half a guard and then try to hit it just a little bit not too much so it will make the, the hair look crispy the shape up will look good on the client so after we make this it's gonna make it around try to open it if any hair missing as you see any hair missing and then close it right back again you just hit the line that you just make with the t-line don't go too high so you make a little bit crispy the shape up and that's it that's how we make it clean and then open it if any hair missing that's how we make it any hair missing push it down a little bit smooth way and then close it back just with a little bit with the corners don't go too high just trim it down and that's it so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we're just gonna use the razor blade or box shaver after we do this cut so it's already like almost hit the, the 25 minutes almost 25 25 26 minutes almost I really cannot see the the time we can make it but when I do my haircuts I just make almost three uh, 30 minutes uh, when I uh, when I realize that I just I just make 30 minutes 35 minutes but this is taking a little bit longer because I'm making sure that y'all see what I'm doing explaining all the stuff I take less than 20 20 minutes or 20 minutes almost on this client but I'm trying to explain it for y'all so I'll do the same thing just the shape up hit it with the corners just the line don't go too high so it will be a crispy line as you may see and then do the same thing open it up for any hair missing do the same thing do the same thing on both sides and then close it up just with a little bit sometimes I use the corners but don't go too high so it'll make the crispy line and then go around the ear and then that's it we done with the haircut but we're just gonna make the shape up with the razor blade or box shaver so now we have the razor blade with the blade in already i use places so we cannot have any issues so sometimes I make some cuts on, on my hand on my fingers but now we're just gonna apply some uh, this is maldita shaving gel on the the cut we're gonna make with the razor blade we're just gonna apply it on the a little bit on the hand and then just just gonna apply it I just do it with the pinky or any other other finger just gonna apply it a little bit on the line we're gonna make with the razor blade and then this is like we're gonna make a uh, just only the shape up and that's it we're done uh, so we're just gonna make one side first and then we're gonna make the other side but as I said it's gonna hit it like 
EC and with no issues it's gonna bring one paper like this for you can clean the clients uh, hair, hair that you just cut off with the razor blade we're just gonna put it over here put a little bit of clip and then we're just gonna use it or maybe just just, just not all right so we're just gonna use this razor blade Try to cut just the crispy line you just make on the customer. So the quality is We're just gonna make the cut around the ear and everything. Try to be gentle so you don't cannot cut the client's ear or the client's. So we're just gonna make the crispy line over here. Clean it up so there's not much hair because. We already took it out with the detailer or T line, how you guys call it. Try to be gentle, not push it too hard. Be gentle on both sides. This is gonna be a round, round shape, all round. You just make the shape up over here. As you see the shape of already. We just clean it up a little bit. And then fold it back. Where you not see any hair missing. You just retouch it a little bit. Later on, we're gonna use a little bit with the T liner. So, if any hair missing, like right back again. But it's gonna chop the hairs that came out on the razor blade on the client's hair. So, right back again. Clean up the, the gel that came out, uh, the leftovers. And then, as you may see already, the crispy line I just made with the razor blade you just hit the other side. We're almost done on this. I try to hit the other side. So, just move a little bit the client to the other side and try to see the mirror. Watch it done.